Hey guys, it's Eric, owner of Farpoint Farms here in the mountains, North Carolina. And tonight, <laughs> tonight we move on to C-band free-to-air satellite systems. This is what is called a bud, a big ugly dish, and it is now mine. I picked this thing up for free, thankfully. I put an ad on Facebook Marketplace, and I was able to uh, find a guy about uh, two hours from here. But I was able to score this. This is a home cable, whatever brand that is. I've owned several of these big dishes over the years. KTI, I think, made one, and I can't remember the other ones. But they are all probably manufactured by the same company and then just rebranded. But what we have here is a seven and a half foot dish. This will get just about all the signals that are available here in North America. If you want to go beyond this, you can get a 10 footer. I actually have the remains of a 10 footer up there. But uh, it was damaged in the wind before I was able to set it up. So that was several years ago. And I've been wanting to get one of these ever since. Getting the KU band, that, that 40 inch dish, set up and working really uh, renewed my interest in the hobby. And so I put out an ad, got this thing, and I'm almost ready to set it up. Let me show you what you're going to have to do if you want to get one of these things you so like i put an ad on facebook marketplace i was offering up to fifty dollars said i would come and cut down the pole and uh, haul the thing off and uh, try to you know clean up the area around it guy down uh down off the mountain contacted me and said just come and get it it's in our way so i went down there was able to saw the pole flat put this thing in the back of the truck in one piece and drive it home the technology has not changed all that much there is a, a motor that I'll show you in part two that moves this thing back and forth throughout the sky. But this portion here, you're just looking for one that's either mesh or solid and in somewhat decent shape. This one had two small dents in it, nothing major, something definitely we can work with. The one piece you're going to have to replace when you get these, well, I, I won't say you have to, but if you really want to enjoy it, you're probably going to want to. Replacing it's, this, which is an LBN setup single, you could put a... Uh, I don't know. Actually, that's it. It's just a C-band setup. But I'm replacing it with this, which is an LBNF. And the difference between these two is this one requires a servo motor, which is extra electrical uh, stuff you got to have. you got to have the three wires there to switch between horizontal and vertical, where this one works better with these FTA receivers. You just slide this back in place, and it changes from vertical to horizontal through the uh, coax cable. So it's able to switch that out. So that's kind of cool. So I'm going to be plugging that in today and then it'll be time uh, to get this thing in the ground and I'm really looking forward to it. I am still waiting on some equipment to come to get it all finished up, but looking really good. So let's get that done. Cable. Well, let's pause the camera. We'll go over to the other side and I'll show you the other half of this equation, which has been setting for about 24 hours. So it should be good to go. This, this is the other half of the equation. This is a four and a half inch piece of pipe. And it is down about three feet into the ground. As you can see, it's about uh, seven, maybe seven and a half feet tall. And this, uh, if you bought this new, would be quite expensive. Now, here's how you have to work if you want to try to save money on projects like this. This is actually two pipes. So I cut down that 10 footer about three and a half years ago, and I got about a six foot section. I cut down this one that I've got this time around, and I got another seven foot section. So I was able to weld those two together and then cut a little off the bottom to get the height that I wanted. Because you pretty much want a 10 or even a 12 foot pole to get this done. Buying this thing new and having it shipped to you would be somewhere around $500 by itself. So that was out of the question. The other thing you're gonna need in order to make this work, and I've already gone ahead and buried the lines here, is this. I've got my coax cable that runs to the house. That's gonna go to the receiver. And then these, which are really speaker wire, but I was able to reuse those. They're going to be going to the sensor and to the motor for the actual motor that moves this dish across the arc. So tomorrow, my wife and I are going to come out here and get that satellite dish mounted on here. And then it'll be just the same as setting up the KU band dish. We're going to aim it at a satellite. We're going to make some fine adjustments and we're going to hope for the best. And then we'll start moving the motor across the arc to see how well it works. I hope you'll stick around for that. But for today, that's it. I'm Eric. Take care. Sweet.